Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Left Nodding. In this episode, I want to share with you the basic breakdown of this uh, simple stupa, uh, some kind of monument uh, that's procedurally generated using geometry nodes. So this stupa is actually quite simple. Uh, I started uh, making this, actually starting, I started with the simple mesh line converted into curve with the radius being set along the curve so uh, so this is the only interesting part i mean the rest of them is like the brick uh, texture that's displacing the objects but the most interesting part is these combinations uh, we have a curve parameter which basically can shape uh, the stupa so if i make any changes we can reshape the stupa, making it a little bit more like uh, chess pieces. But of course, because this is like a, if it this is really large, it's pretty much like a stupa you can find in Nepal or inside a temple. It's pretty interesting that people make this kind of thing. Uh, this one is pretty interesting to create with all these decorations. But uh, yeah, anyway. You can make your own stupa using procedural way. So this stupa seems to be upside down. You can actually reverse reverse the stupa using the clamping. I mean using this minimum and maximum just by changing the value. But feel free to just simply play around with the with the curve shape. Yeah, I think sometimes you need to reverse the curve anyway. Um, so if you make something that's more interesting with the shapes, you can you can do that. Basically, it's almost like a revolve, but instead of thinking of the curve, because we don't have uh, I don't think we have revolve yet. I don't have we uh, we don't have revolve for now, so we just use this mesh line, mesh the curve, and then set curve radius with the radius value coming from this curve parameter. So that's uh that's done, and then we use curve to mesh. This is kind of like creating loft. Uh, sometimes it's called sweep uh sweep as well. It's probably more like a sweep. So we can set this resolution to four, five, six, seven, eight, as many as you want. So this is more like a real stupa. And the radius, of course, is uh, multiplying this value from the curve. And then I'm using subdivide mesh. There is this uh, transform 90 degrees that I'm using. This is because of the I think the brick texture that I'm using. So without the brick texture, it's simply just this kind of shapes. If I mute this and mute this, so you see, I'm actually displacing. If I mute this guy and then if I plug the offset, you see, you see the pattern of the bricks is a little bit wrong. Because the brick is expecting it to be on a sideways. That's why I rotate it. And then rotate it back. It's pretty funky that it works that way. Um, I might need to scale the value here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I'm actually using Musgrave texture as well. Here I should have keep it simple. So this is the brick texture. I can scale the brick texture. It's a little bit uh, funky this shader. Maybe I didn't apply this hundred percent correctly. But anyhow, um, feel free to play around with this offset and the. And this kind of texture like Musgrave, you could uh, try using combine 
XYZ and then plug this Musgrave value like this into the offset so this kind of thing will actually work as well but you usually you want to push this value um, you want to offset it using the normal that's why we are using normal and scale so normal scale with the height coming from the mass grave into the offset we get a funky looking result here maybe maybe we can turn off uh, fill caps yeah um, the rest of them I use okay I use subdivisions just to get a higher resolution and then yeah set position shades shade smooth on and off and then set the material okay the material is getting color because I have I have vertex color group already created so all I need to do is to transfer the brick texture or even like mass grave. Transfer it into color. It's going to convert the value into color and we can see the result. Just add a quick coloring. So I thought that's pretty interesting. It's pretty basic, but still. Um, all right, so what, what's going on here? Scale vector. We can plug this brick texture into this guy. Okay, it's more like a stupa now because we are using the brick texture and the color can come from the bricks. Yeah, it's not bad, you know, it could be improved. But you get the basic idea. Uh, on and off fill caps. So fill caps kind of works on the brick, but still, the cap is not 100%. It's not like the best caps over there. Okay, sometimes you want maybe just like a four sided stupa, just like a pyramid. So you need to rotate. Rotate the circle. 45 degree or something. Okay. Pyramid style stupa. Yeah, but this is like uh, upside down. Maybe I need to reverse the curve, you know? Yeah. Maybe I should uh, should have done that. All right. So we got it. <clears throat> what else can improve this? Uh, you can play around. So instead of using <clears throat> curve circle, maybe you can use like a star star shapes now we have something completely unusual and different twisted no oh yeah we cannot do twist in this case set radius transform it's not bad of a stupa can be improved on the top there but still pretty interesting and you can play around with this curve okay you can also <clears throat> of course resemble this line you can have the top and the bottom points and then change the count number Without the field cap is probably looking 
more interesting. <clears throat> okay, we have now like a, an alien stupa. <clears throat> And I think <clears throat> I think because this is like a star curve, we can use curve fillet. Yeah, so we have like a nice rounded edges. Very nice looking stupa. Yeah, fill the caps. Go back to our design here. Just reshape it until you are happy with stupa so like uh, with the reference here some stupa have more details but it's mostly the same but the i like the this details additional details like stairs and the things that goes around it uh, look at this the tallest stupa in the world and the other one in like in, in nepal sometimes they do this lines thing that's also kind of interesting to create procedurally. Have you seen a real stupa in real life? They're, some of them are really big, especially like Chandi, the one in Indonesia with all these decorations. All of them are procedural. Maybe let's do something like this in the future. You know, like with our stupa, you can create array, just create like hundreds of them like this crazy temple all right so that's basically how you can create a basic stupa using just a simple notes hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye